Jamie. What you been up to? You know, just waiting for the bus. I mean, besides that, silly. Oh yeah, right. Um, nothing. How about you? I tried new cereal today. It had cornflakes and blueberries in it. Wow. Yeah. Well, I was right. It sounds like a new breakfast cereal is going to be the highlight of our day. At least you had breakfast. I forgot. Would you ever imagine our lives would be this dull? Maybe something fun will happen at school today. School? Fun? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm just kidding. I sort of miss elementary school. You remember in second grade, every day we would, after lunch, we would play outside with the frisbee. We pretend it was our spaceship. No, you'd pretend it was your spaceship, and I'd pretend it was my Viking shield. Yeah, why don't we do stuff like that anymore? Because one day I tried to beat the world record frisbee throw, and we never saw it again. Not that. I mean, ugh, I don't know. Your shoe's untied. Well, thanks, Jamie. This is what ha this must be what happens when you get to sixth grade. The world starts to become boring. Yep, we're growing up now. No more recess, no more adventure. Did someone say adventure? Huh? Aha, fellow explorers. Oh, uh, we're not explorers. Perfect. The local natives. Exactly what I need to get back on the right path. The right path to where? To the ultimate treasure. In this town? Yeah, in a place called Orange Charter School. That's our school. You mean you've been there? There's no time to lose. Show me on the map. I really can't read this map. But we just wait here until the bus arrives. Who are you anyway? My name's Jones, Montana Jones. Don't you mean Indiana? No, 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 no. You're thinking of my brother. I'm more handsome and far less intelligent. So, when does this so-called bus arrive? There it is now. It's coming straight for us. Watch out. <laughs> Are you crazy? This isn't even close to us. Yep, I saved your lives. And now you two owe me a life debt. And you can make that up by becoming explorers and leading me to the treasure. Every day, it never changes. Emma Gunga Junga. What did she say? She said she's changing the route, taking a detour. She's turning left. According to Google Maps, put down Pothole Avenue. That's filled with potholes. Hold on, things are about to get bumpy. <laughs> Stop talking, the sooner we can start learning. Learning! Sorry, got excited. Yes, well, okay. Um, wait a minute, are you a student here? Yes, yes I am. Oh, okay. 
Uh, today we'll be learning about the anatomy of various plants and flowers. Just let me get my smart board up and running. Did you hear that, Explorers? We're studying plants and flowers. That's perfect. According to this map, we're supposed to be journeying through the maze of man-eating plants and the forest of broken glass. Hmm. But we're not journeying anywhere. This is science class. We just be quiet and look at the screen. Enough talking. Be quiet and look at the screen. This is a photograph of a rare jungle orchid. Ooh, ooh, I have a question for the witch doctor. Science teacher. Sorry, I get those mixed up. Is this orchid a man-eating plant? Uh, no. Aha, uh -huh, so it just eats females. What? No. My next question, when can we see these plants in person? Was my smart board not good enough for you? No, 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 it's great. It's just... I'm trying to get to this spot on the map. <sighs> the forest of broken... We don't have any forests at our school. The only orchids around here are out where the old greenhouse used to be. Our school had a greenhouse? What happened to it? Well, a bunch of the windows were shattered a few years ago. A delinquent hit it with a frisbee. Of course, the forest of broken glass. Can we go there now? Yeah, can we go on a field trip? We can't just up and go on a field trip. I have a syllabus to follow. Then why don't you let us go on a field trip and you can study this. Why would I study your hat? Just, just look closely. I think you'll find an amazing scientific discovery. This is strange. What, what is this substance? The bus driver sneezed on his hat. Ah, bus driver slime. That's incredibly difficult to get. Well, you stay here and study that. We've got a day with some man eating plants. Yeah, oh, um, whatever. Um, yeah, have fun. Uh, stay safe. Come on, everybody. Field trip. It's safe. Do you know where we're going? No, nope, but the map says. I've never been to this part of campus before. Cody and Chris, isn't this amazing? No, this is terrible. There's no Wi Fi here, and I've had to interact with the real world. Here we are. Forced and broken glass. According to the map, this leads us to the Library of Loneliness. Look at these plants. They're moving. They've grown wild. Let's be careful. Why? Are they dangerous? Well, they shouldn't be. Your teacher said there weren't man-eating plants. Help! It's eating me! I forgot. You're a boy, not a man. Come on, Jamie. We've got to save your boyfriend. What? He's not my boyfriend. We're just friends. Not that I wouldn't mind. I mean, I like him, but... Can we talk about this later? Phew, that was close. No wonder we aren't allowed on this part of campus. Where are we? We're in 
inside the library of loneliness. Why is it called that? Oh, I'm so lonely. That's Miss Beauty, the librarian. I've never seen her before. That's because hardly anyone comes to visit me in the library. It's such a lonely place now that most of my students have no longer had their noses and books. Instead, they are glued to their electronic traps. Huh? Did you say something? If you're going to that church, can't you just send us an email? I love books. I read them all the time on my iPad. Ugh. iPads, Kindles, computers, whatever happened to good old-fashioned Chuck down a tree and press it into paper books. Ah, my eyes! <coughs> my allergies! Now, Miss Merritt, I would love to spend my entire afternoon in this beautiful library, but I'm still debating the pros and cons of electronic age versus traditional print. But I'm on an adventure, and there should be a secret passage somewhere around here. There's no secret passage in the library. There certainly is. What? Will you show us? I certainly will, but only if you prove yourself a worthy reader. We read stuff all the time. And we write stuff too. LOL. LOFL. I have no idea what those two are saying. OMG, you're so OLD. I guess none of you are up to the challenge. I'm up to it. I'm up to it. Excellent. I will ask you one question. If you answer correctly, I will reveal the secret passage. And what if she answers wrong? Then she will remain here organizing books on the lonely library shelf for the rest of her life. For the rest of her life? Or until the end of the school day, whichever comes first. I'm ready. Then let the challenge begin. Behold three of the most popular books. Harry Potter. Greetings, young Michael. The Hobbit. Hello, I'm a Hobbit. And Twilight. Hi, my name's Edward. I'm a sparkly vampire. Now tell me, young explorer, which of these novels was published first? That's easy. I remember all of those movies. First came out Harry Potter, then Twilight, and then The Hobbit. Dwayne, those are the movies, not the books. Pick me. I'm the right choice. Don't listen to him. Shut up, Flash. How about you shut up, Pisty Face? Why don't you make me? That's not fight, good friends. You got a funny scar on your head. That's it. A Vodacadabra! Ah, oh, you killed me! Wait, I'm a vampire. I'm already dead. You fictional characters better behave. Don't make me use my whip. Okay, let me say that you're all really fun books to read, but I remember my dad telling me that he read The Hobbit when he was a kid, and he's really old. So that's my final answer. The Hobbit. Correct. The Hobbit was written by J.R.R. Tolkien and published in 1937. Wow. Talk about OLD. Well done, Jamie. Now, as I promised, I will reveal the secret passageway. You did it, Jamie. Good work. And thanks to you, too, Miss Librarian. My friends and I promise to visit you more often so you won't be so lonely. Right, Explorers? Yeah, whatever. I'm going to be at tomorrow. You have any comic books? Yeah, no. Follow me. The secret passage is over this way. Follow me. This is as far as I dare to go. The secret passage is right beyond that door. Thank you. You're welcome.
that, oh man, that's, that was why I always bring my lunch to school. It's not that bad. After all, the cafeteria has improved a lot over the years. They used to serve nothing but junk food and french fries. That was so great back then. Now they serve really healthy food. And that's why it makes it smell so horrible. Oh no, not them. It's the lunch ladies. So the legends are true. Legends. It has been said that no one can go through the cafeteria of cave creepiness without tasting all three of the lunch ladies' secret recipes. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Fire, burn, and chili bubble. So, who's brave enough for this challenge? I'd volunteer myself, but, um, my stomach's a little queasy from that bus ride. Step forward if you dare. One of you must try all three of our secret recipes or die at the hand of a vicious monster. Who is brave enough to try my new stew? Is it you, or are you going to make your girlfriend face this challenge? She's not my girlfriend. I mean... She's my friend, and she's a girl, but we're not dating, not that one minds. Ugh, I was fine, I'll just try to stew. It's gonna be so gross, I just know it. <coughs> hey, wow, that was pretty good. Can you have some more? No, you must try my spaghetti sauce. Hmm, I, don't, I guess I don't mind spaghetti. It's organic. Yuck, why do you have to make a perfectly good fattening meal? Ruined by making everything organic. Just eat it. Hey, honey meatballs. That's the best sauce I've ever tasted. Glad you liked it. This is really delicious. It's, I guess it's great to try new things. What's next? I call this one kitchen surprise. Let me add it. It's, it's disgusting. It tastes like feet. Yo, that's so gross. Wait a second. How do you know what feet taste like? What the heck's in kitchen surprise? Whatever falls on the floor of the kitchen. Surprise! It's something you get to taste out of my mouth. This will do the trick. Ah, it's hot sauce. My mouth's on fire. Mr. Montana, you got to do something. I think it's finally time I use my whip. What good is a whip gonna do? It's not just any type of whip. It's ready whip. Thank you, that's much better. You can't do that, that's cheating. Send in the banana monster! They great. Yeah, sure. Let's get out of here before it comes back. Where are we now? It's too dark. I can't tell. Who dares to enter my name of doom? Oh no, I know that voice. It's Coach Ogre. She can crush an iPhone with her bare hands. We're out of here. Looks like we found the exit that marks the spot. It's my final destination. Last challenge. Here I will find the ultimate treasure. Thank you, Explorers, for helping me get this far. I understand if you decide to leave now. We started on this adventure, and we're gonna finish it together. Wait, you still haven't tied your shoe. Oh yeah. Thanks, Jamie. Hey, Jamie, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes, Dwayne. Hey kid, aren't you a little too young for us? It's not what I was going to ask. I was just asking if she wanted to hang out like we used to. You know. I'd like that. Ha 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 ha! But first, let's see if we can survive past this gym class. Well, 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 Montana Jones. 
always knew you'd come crawling back into my gymnasium. You two know each other. Oh, we most certainly do. Our paths have crossed before. I should have known I'd find you here. You know me. I'm full of surprises. And I'm sure you also know that I'm tougher, stronger, faster, and smarter than you. Ever since that terrible day, I've never forgiven you, and I've made it my life's ambition to take away everything you hold dear, like that ultimate treasure you've been looking for. Oh, yeah? Well, I've got two words for you. Whipped cream. Darn. I'm empty. Look at you, you're pathetic. And look at me, in my gymnasium of doom. I am the most powerful person in the entire school. You're not that powerful. <whistles> Shut up and give me 20. Yes, ma'am. Hey, leave him alone. <whistles> give me one lap, pencil leg. I can't believe you're still mad after all these years. You need to learn to let go of the past. Don't take it out on Jamie and Dwayne. It's me you want. I'm the one who hurt you. Wait a minute. How can anyone co hurt Coach Joker? <coughs> it was a long, long time ago. In a school district far, far away. It was junior prom. I asked a special girl named Jenny Ogre to be my prom date. And she said yes. And then he stood me up. He never even came to my doorstep. No, I did, but I realized I hadn't brought you flowers, so I went to the flower shop. But then I got a flat tire, and then a band of Vikings came looking for their shield. And then they kidnapped me, and while I was aboard on their ship, we got attacked by pirates and ninjas at the same time. Well, that's the oldest excuse in the books. The truth is, you just didn't want to go out with me. I know you better than you know yourself, Montana Jones. In fact, I know your deepest, darkest secret, your greatest fear. Bring them out, minions! No, not jump ropes. Why did it have to be jump ropes? Mr. Montana, you've got to do something! It's too late for me, kids. Save yourselves. That's right. Nothing can save him. Stop. You can't do this, Coach. Don't you know why Montana Jones followed his crazy map and drew you all this way? Of course I know. To find the ultimate treasure. And do you know what the ultimate treasure is? What? It's you! You're the ultimate treasure! I am? She is? I mean, yes, of course! I found you my sweet treasure? Minion, stop! A rare jungle orchid! My favorite kind! Oh, Montana, all is forgiven. This is so beautiful. Come on, minions, let's go put this in some water. Thank goodness she's gone. Quick thinking, explorers. Now we can get back to finding the ultimate treasure. Isn't Coach Ogre your ultimate treasure? Seriously? Didn't you just see her? Well, if Coach Ogre isn't the ultimate treasure, then what is it? Well, according to my map, it can be found exactly right here. In the lost and found box? There's nothing but old junk in there. No, 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 my friend. Inside lurks the ultimate treasure. Oh, this is too exciting not to share. Smile! Take the darn picture. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, Jamie, this is the type of mysterious and dramatic moment I don't want everyone to know about. Don't worry, I only sent it to Cody and Chris. And we sent it to the entire school. Well, hurry up, we gotta get back to class. Here goes. Here it is! The ultimate treasure! Hey, that's my frisbee. No, 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 my friend. It may look like a frisbee, but it's an ancient Viking shield. Or maybe it's a flying saucer. Whichever way, it's the ultimate treasure I've been looking for. Thanks, guys. Well, Dwayne, I guess we're not too old to go on crazy adventures now and then. Yeah. Well, if you've helped me fulfill one of my dreams, I want to make one of your dreams come true. What's your greatest dream, Dwayne? Well, it was to launch the world's longest frisbee throw. I guess that's kind of silly now. Dwayne, this whole day has been silly. Well, stop now. I want you to have this. Really? That's right. Let's go outside and beat that world record. Okay, here it goes. Wow, look at it fly! It's going! It's going! It's gone! What a throw! I bet it makes it all the way around the planet! My hero! <laughs> and action. <laughs> 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 